Now, a lot of people think I'm a worrier. Well, I like to think I'm a planner. Oh, no. <laughs> He's a worrier. <laughs> like when Sophie, that's our daughter, had yeah, her baby. Well, that was... A close just, call. Yeah, too close. Mm -hmm. It was last March, and Sophie was expecting, and there was no way I was going to miss the birth of my first grandchild. Our uh, thing is, Sophie lives in France. France! See what I mean? Glass half empty. <sighs> I mean, what? Anyway, my first call was to BCD Travel. Mm -hmm. Like so many stories, Ted and Linda's begins with a single contact, one that sets in motion a global network of algorithms, applications, connections. It happens millions of times a minute, on billions of devices worldwide, and everything is behind the scenes. Invisible to the customer, but central to the customer experience, as we're about to see. So, BCD Travel took care of everything. Flights, hotels, train tickets, the works. We were set. We were going to stay in London for a few days, fly to Paris, then catch the train to Nice, that's where Sophie lives, to be there for the birth of the baby. It was so exciting. <laughs> well, that was the plan anyway. Then our son-in-law, Philippe, sent us this text. There was a problem. It appears that during the course of a routine ultrasound, the doctors discovered the baby had grown much faster than anticipated. The doctors needed to act quickly. Thanks to a Genesis widget embedded in the Philips ultrasound technology, the image and the message were sent directly to Sophie and her husband, who then sent it to Ted and Linda through the US cellular network. They were moving up the due date, and Sophie was going to be induced. And we only had three days to get there, and there was a lot to change. In his haste, Ted had forgotten BCD Travel's number, so he jumped onto Microsoft Bing, which directed him to the BCD Travel website. And because he had Verizon as his internet service provider, the entire process was lightning fast. It was then that Genesis Proactive Engagement recognized Ted and connected him to all his reservations. A pop-up window appeared asking Ted if he'd like to do a live chat or get a call back. He wanted to talk. I got a call from the agent right away, and she knew every detail about every booking. I didn't have to explain or repeat anything. Right, because usually, this is where Ted gets officially angry. <laughs> but this was easy. Easy. Easy, because while Ted was on the phone, the Sabre system was making changes to his itinerary in real time, changing all his old reservations and making new ones. And because the agent realized things might change again, she offered Ted travel insurance by CSA Travel Protection. He wisely said yes. We were off to London. BCD Travel sent us a text with a link to our new reservation so we could check in easily. Well, we got to the airport. The weather was terrible. Uh, it was totally fogged in. All departing flights were delayed. delayed. We had to wait four hours. We were gonna miss our connection. And not get to Sophie in time. Oh, God. I felt like crying. <sighs> what could we do? We waited and got mm -hmm. on the plane. Yeah. While Ted and Linda were at 37,000 feet above the Atlantic, the Genesis-enabled network was seamlessly working. Air France proactively rebooked their connecting flight, and travel insurance by CSA Travel Protection paid for the room needed for the layover. Now they would have a free night in London, free from worry. Get this, mm -hmm. when we landed, there was a text from Air France with a link to check in for a flight the next morning and an alert from BCD Travel with a choice of hotels near Heathrow. That's right, and we were able to check into the hotel early, which left us an entire day of shopping. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we had to get something for the baby. I know, I know. So we stopped in at Marks and Spencer, right. where I bought a Man United jersey for my little striker to be. Right, and then the next morning we caught the 6.30 Air France flight. We were in Nice before lunch, and we made it. <laughs> we were home free. Not quite. Right. Back home, Ted and Linda's smart Whirlpool dishwasher detected a drop in water pressure, most likely a leak in the pipes. The dishwasher sounded an alarm and invoked the Genesis CX platform. An agent contacted Ted, who approved a service appointment. Then, the agent dispatched a service technician and arranged to have a neighbor available to let them into the house. So, Ted and Linda didn't come back to a lake in their living room. Imagine, a dishwasher that calls a plumber. Well, we arrived at the hospital just as they were bringing Sophie out of the operating room. I mean, literally that minute. She was fine, the baby was healthy, yeah. and they named him Mark. Mm. <laughs> uh, footnote, Philippe, my son-in-law, not a Man U fan. No. no. No problem. Ted got on the phone to Marks and Spencer, and they were able to ship out a Paris Saint-Germain jersey overnight. 
and the side trip to Paris we were going to take on the way over, we took it coming back. <laughs> so that's our story. Most of it. When we got home, the kids sent us a bottle of champagne. I guess they thought we deserved it after all we'd gone through. Every time we were about to open it, we thought, they should share it with us. Yeah. <laughs> and who wouldn't travel halfway around the world for this space? They say life is what happens while you're busy making plans. And when life surprises you, it's nice to know there's people and technology behind the scenes looking out for you. In Ted and Linda's case, that was Genesis and its customers enabling the new grandparents to have a frictionless, permission-based customer experience. And that's what we do every day, millions of times across the globe, connecting people to what matters most, simply, personally, with every contact, across every channel, and now across brands.